Armed men have shot dead a traditional ruler and kidnapped his wife plus one other person in southwestern Nigeria. Authorities say attackers stormed the palace of Shegunarimo, a retired army general and monarch whose official title is the Olukoro of Koro on Thursday night. It is not clear who the gunmen were or whether they are demanding a ransom. This latest killing and abduction comes days after campaigners demanded a state of emergency to deal with the issue. Some 50 civil society groups want President Bola Tenobu to make that declaration, saying more than 1,800 people had been abducted since he took office last May. Joining us live from Nigeria is partner, uh, a partner with SBM Intelligence, Lagos Ekimesi Ethion. Thank you so much and apologies for butchering your name. But what more can you tell us about this abduction, please? Uh, good Good morning, Aisha. Uh, great to be with you. Uh, so the this abduction, right, uh, first and foremost, is I think the fourth incident that has happened in Ekiti State, uh, which is a state in southwest Nigeria, just in a week, right? And and that is that is a worrying bit of escalation for a state that up until now has been relatively quiet um, from an insecurity standpoint. But sort of more widely, right? Nigeria is dealing with a very uh, Nigeria is dealing with a very uh, per pervasive uh, kidnapping epidemic. Those civil society uh, groups who made that call to President Tinubu that you mentioned in your opening actually used data that was compiled by us, right? So we've been tracking kidnapping incidents in Nigeria uh, pretty much since 2012, right? And you have a situation where in any given year, upwards of three to 4,000 Nigerians are, are kidnapped. And those are for incidents that we can actually verify. Um, something in the order of 100 million plus Naira has already been paid as ransoms, confirmed um, and verifiable ransoms since uh, President Tinubu came into mm -hmm. office in May of last year. And so even by Nigeria's uh, really, uh, really poor uh, sort of security standards, this represents a very, very worrying um, escalation. The security services seem to be you know, you know, inundated and in on their heads in terms of um, getting a handle um, of this problem. And you now have a situation where prominent members of society, even politicians themselves, not to speak of traditional rulers and religious leaders, um, have had to bear the brunt of this as they've recently become very high profile and kidnapping victims. So that's sort of the current state of affairs as it's... Is President Tinubu showing any... Um you know, willingness to actually declare the state of emergency? Um, at the moment, it, it, it appears not, right? First and foremost, the president hasn't even articulated a coherent security strategy, you know, um, what sorts of measures he would take, which sort of security incidents he would prioritize, what the, what the policing and what the military strategy would be. Nigeria's military right now is deployed in every state of Nigeria, right, you know, all 36 states. The federal capital itself, Abuja, is dealing with a, with a rising spate of kidnappings. We've tracked um, a little over 60 um, incidents in Abuja itself uh, this year. We actually even released a, a report last week to sort, that sort of just underscores the scale um, of the problem just in Abuja itself. Um, you know, businesses have reported a 33 percent you know and um, decrease in in earning business earnings right since since may of last year security dues for um abuja residents who live in gated communities have increased by 20 percent right just within the last six months and so you have a situation where um short of making uh, statements of condolences and expressing his resolve to deal with Nigeria's security challenges. The president hasn't really articulated a, a clear strategy to deal with these issues. Right now, the president is not even in the country to begin with. So for many Nigerians, it feels as though security has been deprioritized de under uh, this new administration in favor of probably the economy and other issues. And, and for many people, that's unacceptable. Hmm, that's quite alarming. It kept me sit a young. I hope I mentioned your name right this time round. Thank you so much for talking to us.